Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So finally today we have the latest device from OnePlus which is Nord CE4, a budget segment device. And it may or may not be a good competitor for nothing phone to a for that we have different videos planned but today in this video we'll do a quick unboxing and a review of this device and guys this is a retail unit which we purchased from oneplus store and if you make a purchase today you will also get this oneplus nord buds 2r and this is free of cost you don't have to pay anything for it now let's not waste much of time and start the video but before starting the video guys we have 87 percent of users who haven't subscribed to our channel so if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video first let's start with the unboxing so we have that similar color design of the retail box with this blue and black color soon you open the box you'll get to see some stickers safety guide warranty card red cable club card assembly rejector tool and a soft rubber case which actually looks premium beneath that you have your device itself and it's always good to see oneplus always provides the charger and the cable inside the box and it's not like basic charger it's a 100 watt superbook charger along with a usb to type c charging cable so these are the things what you get inside the box now talking about the pricing so Nord ce4 comes in two variants one is 8 128 gb which will cost you 25,000 without any bank discount and the second one is 8256 GB which will cost you around 26999 without any kind of bank discount also there are two color variants one is this Saladin marble I'm not sure if I'm spelling it correct and the second one is dark chrome I personally like this variant so I went ahead with this now talking about the ports and buttons so on this device you don't get to see alert slider keep that thing in mind towards the right hand side you have the power key along with volume up and down key on the top side, you have a stereo speaker plus an IR blaster and a noise cancellation mic. Left side is completely blank, you won't get to see anything. Towards the bottom side, you have speaker grill, Type-C charging port, primary mic and a SIM tray and here you get to see hybrid SIM card slot wherein you can use either two SIM cards or one SIM card plus an additional memory card. And now let's talk about its design and in-hand feel. See design-wise, I won't say that it's an eye-catchy device or something unique, it's just a good design. Towards the back side, you have this camera module along with this circular flashlight and it has these minimal curves on all four sides. The entire build is of polycarbonate. I just like the marble type back. But remember, it's slippery. Side frame has this slight rough texture, but it won't help you get better grip. Also, this phone has that boxy design, but weight wise, I would appreciate it's only 186 grams, approximate 186 grams. And it doesn't feel heavy at all. So as I said, all the buttons are placed towards the right hand side and which makes bit difficult if you're using your device with one hand to reach the volume up button. Left side is completely empty. It would have been good if the volume buttons would have been at the left side for better reachability. See overall, I would say design is good, but there are devices in this price segment which has better design. So if you prioritize design, then look for other alternatives. Now talking about display and sound output. So Nord CE4 has 6.7 inch full HD plus AMOLED panel supporting 120 hertz of refresh rate with the peak brightness of 1100 nits and it also comes with that aqua touch feature which oneplus is trying to add in their newer phones basically aqua touch feature lets you use your device screen under drizzles without any mistouch bezels on nord ce4 are not uniform the bottom chin is slightly thicker on Nord CE4 and which you can easily notice. Brightness wise, OnePlus Nord CE is still behind the competition because there are brands providing 1300 nits of peak brightness in the same price segment but we did test out outdoor and had no issues reading or seeing content on the screen. It has the adaptive refresh rate which can switch between 60, 90 and 120 hertz. And another good thing about OnePlus smartphones that they do support HDR playback in apps like Netflix and Amazon Prime. Content watching is also good, colors are punchy but darker areas lack details and one thing which I noticed that if I play 4K HDR video in YouTube there is a stutter while playing videos and soon I switch to 2K the video is super smooth. I also tried adjusting the refresh rate but nothing helped. Let's hope this thing gets fixed with the upcoming updates. But sound output is really loud and the balancing is also good between top and bottom firing speaker. Take a look yourself. In terms of content watching, display and sound output, this device is really good. But keep one thing in mind, those 4K issues while playing HDR videos on YouTube, we are not sure whether those things will be fixed or not. But stay tuned, we'll come up with a full review 
I hope we get another update because soon I unbox the device there was an update and I'm doing this video after updating the device. The battery on this device is pretty impressive. We get 5400mAh of battery capacity with a SuperVOOC fast charging support of 100 watts and I have been using this device since yesterday. When I talk about the charging time it hardly took 29 to 31 minutes to completely charge from 0 to 100%. The screen on time is 4 hours and 50 minutes in which we have done a lot of testing, we played games, we did perform benchmark testing and all also, if you see the last charge, it's been almost 19 hours. So you can easily get one day of battery backup with a normal usage. I would say it would go more than one day if you normally use your device without any kind of gaming. So in terms of battery, it's a great device with a huge battery capacity and a great battery backup. In software department, this device will only get two years of OS upgrade and three years of security patch update, which is again behind the competition. Nothing phone 2 will get three years of software update along with four years of security patch update and guys another thing you need to remember if you don't set up your device properly i mean the initial setup you might get to see bloatwares because there was a recommendation when i was setting up this device let me show you that screenshot so these are the apps and if you don't untick them they will be installed automatically soon you complete the initial setup so make sure you untick all these applications for me only three applications were suggested other than that there were no bloatwares to be found only one internet application which was already there but if you see we have almost all the required apps which we normally see on oneplus smartphones these are the screenshots which i took soon after completing the initial setup out of the box device comes with android 14 with the skins of oxygen os 14 and as i said initially we received an ot update wherein the update size was around 586 mb the entire testing guys including the camera samples battery backup performance was performed after this latest update recently oneplus 12 12r got ai features so we may get to see See those features even on oneplus nord ce4 other features are already there like file doc recent files which you can find it in the file doc itself smart cutout under gallery which lets you extract the subject from any particular photo then dynamic island type stuff which works with apps like clock zomato etc but one major issue which i noticed on this device in the software department and that's layer to app opening animation so here you can see i have two phones towards the left hand side that is oneplus 10 pro with the latest update and towards the right hand side nord ce4 if i open any app on nord ce4 there is no app opening animation though you get to see the animation when you close Close the app but while opening the application there are no animations to be seen and you consider anything I don't see that app opening animation for which oxygen OS is known for and I doubt this thing will be added in future with the software update but let's see if it gets added I'll keep you guys posted in another video but till now in my usage I did not see any kind of jitters on this device or lags while scrolling around the UI is super fluid device also has in display fingerprint and that works most of the time till now not even once it is failed to recognize my fingerprint so in terms of software department oxygen OS 14 is really great only two things which are concerning one is two years of OS upgrade that can also be managed but I hope they fix this app opening animation issue on Nord CE4. Other than that, you won't have any kind of issues with the software department. When it comes to haptics, I have always praised OnePlus, but this time I did feel them a bit softer. On the default settings, you might miss out notifications or calls. To avoid them, you need to increase the intensity to max. Overall, haptics are good and the implementation what OnePlus does with the haptic feedback in the entire UI is next level. That gives you a premium feel. And now talking about the performance, so this device comes with Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 processor with the support of LPDDR4X RAM and both the variants have 8GB RAM itself. But the good thing is it comes with UFS 3.1 storage and we performed storage test multiple times results were quite impressive read speed was always about 1650 and write speed was always about 1450 again we performed benchmark testing multiple times and every time device did score above 8 lakh with geekbench application single core scores were 1128 and multi core scores were 3032 we also performed wildlife extreme stress test in that stability scores were 57.8 which is not that good i would say battery drain was almost 6 percent and the maximum temperature which we noticed was around 39 degrees celsius and another good thing which we noticed while performing these tests we did monitor the device temperature i never saw device going above 40 degrees celsius and here in bangalore right now it's summers the ambient temperature is always above 30 degrees celsius still device managed to keep the temperature below 40 degrees celsius we also tested out gaming we played bgmi and cod mobile for some time and surprisingly we got better average fps in bgmi 
See, it's not a gaming centric phone, but you can do casual gaming without any kind of problems. I do gaming with four finger and full gyro. Gyroscope performance is good enough for my gameplay. It's smooth and reliable. We did not notice any kind of major frame drops in a gaming test. In BGMI, average FPS device delivered was above 55 frames per second. And when we played COD, most of the time device was giving 60 FPS constant. But when we checked out the stats, the average FPS was 50 frames per second. With no doubt, it's actually a good device for casual gaming and it can also perform some heavy tasking. So performance wise, it's a great phone in this price segment. And now let's talk about the camera segment and here I am actually impressed with the picture quality which were produced by Nord CE4. The device has dual setup 50 megapixel primary lens which is Sony LYT600. Then we have ultra wide lens which is of 8 megapixel and the front shooter is 16 megapixel. This device is simple yet powerful tool for capturing life around. It handles the harsh sunlight and soft shadows with ease keeping the photos natural and true to what you see. The street comes alive in the shots with every color true to life and signboard crisp and clear. Straight out of the box, the camera surprises you with its clarity. Inside, it's reliable. The texture on the walls, the corners of Quiet Cafe, each detail is captured clearly. CE4 deals with indoor lighting, so even when you are inside, your photo stays bright and true. This camera gives you pictures that are sharp, colorful, and just plain real. Noise reduction is great indoors and in low light situations without losing enough details and clarity. The skin tones in these photos appears natural and consistent using the primary lens. The camera's exposure handling is commendable, keeping the details both in lighter and dark parts of the image. Nord CE4 offers a good dynamic range ensuring the features are well defined without being overexposed. Front camera quality is also great, providing clear detailed images that don't appear overexposed. Shadows and highlights are well balanced, contributing to pleasing results. Results. That would work well for social media without the need of additional editing. If you take a look at the photos which we clicked with the ultra wide lens and the primary lens, you will be shocked to see the results. Color science consistency is really good and ultra wide doesn't even have that focus issue what we have seen on nothing phone 2A. On Nord CE4, all the shots are usable with good enough details and sharpness. You can see them yourself. In portrait shots, device do smoothens the skin but details are more than enough and also no issues were seen with the edge detection. Everything is perfectly done. This time, Nord CE4 captures better details in low light. Here when you click the night photos, CE4 takes approximate 2 seconds and that allows the camera sensor to capture more light with some great details. One issue which I have faced twice on this phone was layer 2 video recording using the front camera. You can see the sample yourself, how bad device was lagging while recording the video. And I also tried stopping the video and giving it another try but it was the same story until and unless I closed the camera application and reopened it. Also check out the video recorded using front and rear camera, I mean without lag. Okay, so this video we are recording directly from the rear camera and rear camera is capable of recording 4K at 30 FPS, we don't have 60 FPS option. You can see the stabilization dynamic range and this is our township ground where there's a tournament tomorrow and for that they are doing their preparation. I'll walk a little fast so that you guys will have better idea about this stabilization. According to me, stabilization looks pretty good on this device currently. But you guys let me know about the stabilization audio quality and the video quality. Okay, so this video is directly being recorded using the front camera and front camera is capable of recording 1080p at 30 fps. You can see the video quality. Stabilization isn't that good. But yeah, it looks promising and it can be used if you do some random video recording using the front camera and if I directly face towards this sun you can see how device is managing the dynamic range but you guys let us know about the audio quality and the video quality using the front camera connectivity wise device comes with Bluetooth 5.4 dual band Wi-Fi dual 4G VoLT and it has 7 5G bands but there is no NFC and alert slider so keep that thing in mind. Now talking about the conclusion, see overall it's a great phone in terms of performance for daily tasks and casual gaming. Good picture quality using the main camera and actually I was impressed with that. In software you might see some bloatwares if you don't properly complete the initial setup. Display and sound output is amazing and huge thanks to the dedicated stereo speaker present on Nord CE4. Design wise it's good as said it's not extraordinary so if you prefer design you can look for other alternatives. If OnePlus fixes two issues, one is this camera video recording which I have already shown you guys and the second one is app opening animation. If these two things gets fixed, 
this is a great device in this budget segment mainly you are compromising on two things one is alert slider and the second one is nfc and nfc completely depends on personal choice i have used a lot of device but never used nfc so you guys tell me what you guys have to say about this device and also let us know in the comment section below what you like and dislike make sure to drop a comment so guys this was quick unboxing and initial review of oneplus nord ce4 if you guys have any kind of questions let us know in the comment section below this is a friend ashok signing out see you guys in the next video